本当いいですねおばあちゃんのはよ,よかったですあの本当にこの新しい MacBook の音が、はい、もうマイクロフォンがものすごくよくてへえ助かってますなんかちょっと大事ですよね音って<笑>本当にもうこれ3つのマイクロフォンも入ってるんで、はい、あのものすごくね音質が良くて学生も言ってますあ学生さんもそうなんです始まったみたいですねあ始まりましたはい音もどうですかね大丈夫ですかねあバッチリですバッチリいってますかはい大丈夫ですはい今日であの10回目なんですよそうですね記念すべきもうねありがとうございます<笑><笑>よし、行きましょうか。Right. Ladies, gentlemen, let's get started. Good evening if you're joining us from Asia. Good afternoon if you're joining us from Europe or Africa. And good morning if you're joining us from the Americas. Welcome to Kenji Ojima's YouTube Live International. My name is Robert, and as always, I will be your MC and guide on this hour long journey of learning. Thank you so much for coming out and joining me and world famous orthodontist. <laughs> Dr. Kenji Ojima on this wonderful evening. Kenji, how are you? How are you? Hello, Robot. How about today? It's good? <laughs> it, it is cold today. Yes. I'm wearing a for the first time in a while. Yes, but I'm just like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have, uh, your, your muscles keep you warm, I'm no, sure. <laughs> but I'm very surprised because today is very cold. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we need a jacket today, so walking around. But the、uh, situation is. Become better, right? So, the, today I take、uh, lunch for the go to the restaurant. How about you take a restaurant outside? No, recently, no. I, I, I do a lot of takeout. I, I get takeout noodles and I、mm -hmm. get takeout you know, meat. The, there's a Yaki Niku barbecue place near my house that does、wow. takeout as、Great. well. So, we're very lucky. We have lots of different、mm -hmm. options around here for、Wonderful. eating out. But my, my wife's cooking is amazing. So, it's like a restaurant for me. <laughs> No need it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, your exactly. wife is usually cooking to the wonderful, so the Japanese style or international? Mostly international. My、mm -hmm. wife is from Iran, so,、mm -hmm. so we have a lot of really good Iranian food and, and wow. Um, wow, I get wow. ethnic food in our house. I'm very lucky. <laughs> Amazing. I have to exercise because everything is too delicious. <laughs> I eat too much. <laughs> I think so, yes. Well,、uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell,、um, Kenji and I are in very high spirits.、Uh, the weather may be cold and it may be a bit rainy, but the situation in Japan continues to improve. Of course, we are luckier than many who are still in terrible situations. My own country, America, is truly struggling with、mm -hmm. this current situation. But as always, on Saturdays and Wednesdays, Kenji and I are here to give you one hour away from the stresses of your life to focus on learning and to learn from a master in, in a way that you could normally not learn.、Um, this broadcast is an interactive broadcast.、Um, if you go into the live chat and you leave a question or comment, we will address it in the course of our discussion.、Mm -hmm. And of course, if you're new to us, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hitting the subscribe button helps us grow our channel, and hitting like helps more people like you find people like us. So、uh, thank you very much for your cooperation and for joining us today on this wonderful May day. All right. So、uh, today, We are either going to talk about one or two cases, depending on what we have time for. As you can see、uh, to my left,、uh, um, we are teeing up a case of, case of molar expansion.、Okay. Molar expansion is、um, many of the comments and questions that we get in our chat are about molar movement and complex molar movement and how to do、uh, more successful, how to plan more successfully and more predictably molar movement. And、uh, expansion certainly is one of the more challenging、uh, molar movement situations. So I'm going to put on my seatbelt. And get ready for another wonderful wild ride. Kenji Ojima, please take us away. Thank you for the introduction for the robot. So, today, so that if I started for the presentation, I ordered to robot. 
please quiet my presentation if you have any question. So the, or last time I, Robert and I talking about so using for the some another WhatsApp so that you have an interlab directory mm. connection is uh, available. Then I started. It's much better to audience, much better to yours, right? right? So the robot is uh, <clears throat> watching my presentation. Then if you have any question, the same as yours for the robot is a directly asked to me. Then I want mm -hmm. to directly answer to them. Okay, so it's uh, good for the ready to interrupt. Mm. Sure, absolutely. Um, shall we connect? So mm. I can see. Yes, much better. Okay. It's more faster because okay, I just a little bit delay for the, our live and uh, watching YouTube channel will be delayed thirty second. Then yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now I connect for the robot. Wonderful. Wonderful. And then, then sides is okay. Uh, yeah, uh, the side. So I, I, I can only. Please point me at the screen so that I can see uh, the presentation at the same time. Yeah, are you want to watching my this one? If I can, yes. Oh yeah, I yeah, think yeah. That would be easiest. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay? Perfect. Is it okay? Can you Thank see you. that? I can see it perfectly. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm just at. Is it perfect? Perfect. Yes, it's absolutely perfect. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Let's go. Sorry, so now I set in our okay. Okay. <clears throat> so today so that my focus on expansion. So many of the doctors ask to me, is it possible to expansion or not? So that my answer is all the time yes. So the expansion is one of the very difficult to approach for the, any kind of the orthodontic appliance. For example, the ringer braces, labial braces, of course, aligner too, because is how many major expansion is possible or not? Because too much expansion is a how I say, go outside bone. That is not a good result, no long stability, okay? We have to think about so that not only teeth, tooth movement, very important thing, tooth integration of the bone, then over the gum, okay? If too much expansion is uh, easy to recession the gum, easy to recession the bone, and uh, go outside for the bone, it's not good, protect for the root, Okay, very important thing, we have to think about integration, bone, and the root, okay? Mm, but at, okay, interesting. Yeah, at this time, very, very important thing is I all the time talk about yours. So that we have to check anatomical data first. If without any anatomical data, we nobody understood how millimeter expansion is possible or not, okay? Mm. Initially, the patient come to my office, 25 years old male. A chief complaint this patient is anterior clouding. Okay, as mm. you can see, the severe clouding anterior severe side. Severe clouding, yeah. Yes, and the severe mm. clouding anterior, upper anterior, and the lower anterior teeth. And for the, this patient is a class two relationship, the bo both of the arch. So mm -hmm. the right side and the left side is class two relationship. And the uh, midline is uh, almost correct, and just a little bit canting for the uh, right mm. side is just a little right bit side. down, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, it's a uh, upper right lateral incisor, one, two, just a little bit micro don't twos, mm -hmm. and uh, two, two, upper uh, left lateral incisor, almost same, They're just a little bit small side, okay. And uh, this patient, once don't want extraction any extraction, teeth okay. mm. of course <laughs> including wisdom teeth too 
This mm. patient don't want any extraction. If extraction mm. is possible, will be I planning easy way is a four premolar extraction. And right. of course, yes, I do. And the wisdom tooth extraction and uh, digitalization, I can do everything. But uh, this patient want to one thing, please Kenji, no extraction, my teeth. Mm. Ex of course, wisdom tooth too. I right. have to check, so the bone situation. Bone situation, checking, and uh, how many meter expansion is possible or not. Uh, please watching this one. So I all the time explain any other my lectures. So the, mm. we call how expansion area, uprighting area, it's more, uh, this is very important point. Uprighting like this, we call safety zone. Safety right. zone is uprighting almost 90 degree. This so is, this safety zone, you, you talked to us about this maybe two sessions ago. You, you drew a nice picture for us, right? Thank you. So the why, right. what is safety zone? Is This meaning is without any attachment. Only a liner, easy to uprighting. Because this is a just tipping movement. That is very easy and uh, good control for the liners. Okay, we call this area as a safety zone. Hmm. If you want to more expansion over the safety zone, at this time started to happen tipping. This is mm -hmm. a liner is not gripping completely perfect. Ah, Will okay. be easy to happen unfitting. Okay. Okay. Started point here. Then uprighting, this is a safety zone, almost 90 degree. This is no need any attachment. But if you want to more expansion without any attachment, maybe easy to tipping zone. Okay. A tipping I see. zone, how to prevent tipping? How to, pre how to prevent is solution is attachment. If you want to more uprighting over the safety zone, Please add for the attachment, okay? Attachment is keep this angle, then avoid tipping. A liner and okay. uh, two teeth fitting is better, then good for the gripping, then go to the, you want to expansion teeth movement. Okay. Okay, and that and that good grip is what prevents tipping and mm -hmm. instead gives you bodily movement, right? Exactly. That is very important okay. thing. So the only tipping movement is very simply, very easy. If without any attachment, mm -hmm. no problem. But if you okay. want to bodily tooth movement for the expansion, at this time it's very very important thing. Add for the attachment. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, please watching for the this screen check movies. Wisdom teeth, expansion first, then second molar, first molar, second premolar, first premolar, canine, anterior teeth. Not for the simal tooth movement. So that we right. divide for the which teeth anchorage, which tooth is control. Okay? That is more safety. And this is a create a bone with then if same time expansion will be easy to recession the gum mm. easy to happen to the um, root is go outside the bone okay but uh, more second motors expansion and the create a bone then shift to the second fast motors shift to the second premolars shift to the fast premolar is more safety create a bone continuously this is a uh, mm good for the control of the gum, good for the control of the bone, okay? Interesting, it's in, in every case you've shown us so far, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, this is our 10th episode. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um, but for all of our 10 episodes so far, all of our sequential movement has been from the anterior teeth towards the molars. So this is the first case that we've seen where the molar movement happens first and we move towards the anterior. It's a very different, very mm -hmm. different type of movement. Very interesting. Thank you. So the, uh, this, this screen, so that you can see for the initially, so the wisdom tooth is anchorage, 
Then second molar expansion, then after that first molar, as you can see, the same as clean check on the photos. So that if same time expansion is a uh, which tooth is anchorage, the loss anchorage. But uh, as you can see, the, this staging is a uh, wisdom tooth, the first molar is anchorage, the only control second molar's expansion. The bone and the root is a good control. After that, sequentially, first molar expansion. As you can see, green check, same as clinical photos. Mm -hmm. Then we shift to the move, premolar expansion, then canine expansion phase, mm. with not only tooth movement, we create a bone expansion too. Okay? That is very important thing. This is a more predictable tooth movement and easy to control and a more safety for the avoid prevent the recession and we can good for the occlusion stable. That is more this is a like a, a line also don't think way. Mm. As you can see is the next stage is a pre premolar expansion, after that canine expansion. Finally, we create a space, then finishing staging until it is expansion alignment. Interesting, okay. So as you can see, I... this patient is uh, no need any extraction, no need mm. for the distalization, only expansion lower arch, then alignment for the teeth without any axillaries. Very, very interesting. So where usually you would do a four premolar extraction to create space, for the movement instead you're expanding the entire lower jaw in order to create that space mm -hmm. and then realigning the anterior teeth and everything into fit that space very interesting a very different approach than we've seen so far yeah so the <clears throat> as robert say already so that if using for the wire braces so the braces is a put on the braces and uh, using the wires the wire is using for the initial phase is a uh, night eye wire. Night eye wire is easy to leveling force, okay? Leveling force at this time is uh, easy to expansion all of the tooth. Second molar, first molar, premolars, can I, then easy to happen recession, easy to happen the bone loss. But the aligner is, uh, is, is totally, totally different approaching. It's sequentially and precisely tooth movement and the creative bone, the creative gum, and the width, then so the molar, premolar canine is more safety for my ideas. Okay, then <clears throat> this is a clean check. As you can see, this patient is a second molar, first molar, premolar expansion, finally canine. And not only expansion, so finally anterior teeth alignment and intrusion. All of the tooth movement only possible to aligners. No need any tart, no need any axillaries, no need any expanders. So the, I will show you uh, this case is uh, expanding to the lower arch, but uh, of course lower arch expanding. So we need to the upper arch expansion too. The upper arch is expansion, then we can do lower arch expansion, okay? This is a initial situation. Expansion started for the second motor, first motor. As you can see, not only uprighting, so that create a bone, okay? Then the premolar expansion phase, premolars. Then started to the uh, alignment anterior teeth. This is a canine to canine expansion. Then this is anterior correction phase. This is the finery. So the expansion all of the arch and the alignment is good. Anterior clouding is already solution improved. This is the initial. This is the final situation. The finery is uh, expansion up and lower. The correct for the midline is uh, 
This patient is just a little bit for the microdon teeth, upper lateral incisors, but uh, good for the occlusion. And this very important thing is uh, take a cone beam CT. Okay, if take a cone beam CT, you can understand is uh, how millimeter expansion or not understanding more easy because of watching the bone situation, the root length, the root size, root curve, everything. If without any place take a cone beam CT, nobody understood how millimeter expansion, how millimeter possible root control, AP control and uprighting and uh, space control, space closing, everything. So watching. See, so, so there's there's no other scan that gives you that that information. It's only the combined CT that gives you that information. Yeah, the combined CT okay. and the integration STL data more easy to understood because uh, reality is a uh, we align orthodontists. Very important thing is uh, using digital simulation data. The name is green check. The green check is a uh, integration the bone integration root size easy to planning for the for your patient right. If without, very difficult. Okay, the initial okay. case. So my message, take home your message this time. Take a combing CT and check for the bone situation. Then we can do every single tooth movement, distalization molars, expansion the molars, extrusion the molar, intrusion the molar, uprighting, majorization. All the tooth movement is possible. Okay. Excellent. Well, this, once again, I say this, I feel like I'm repeating myself in every session we have, but life-changing results and to be able to do so without extracting either the premolars or the wisdom teeth is really uh, it, it's just incredible. It really is amazing. Thank you. So uh, usually, so the aligner orthodontic is uh, some of the time only anterior teeth collection but uh, right. as you can see, is uh, this aligner effect is not only anterior teeth. This case is a focus on the molar side. We can create for the expansion, so the vertical control. Finally, we focus on anterior teeth. If you have uh, any question, I, uh, I just now I answer to them. Great. Yes. Well, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, many people think that aligners. Uh, are a limited approach orthodontic appliance. You can only do anteriors, you can only do certain types of tooth movement, but with proper planning, proper scanning, and proper knowledge of how to do things, you can really open up your treatment possibilities, um, as we've seen in this case, and of course, every other case that Kenji shows us week after week after week. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as Kenji just said, we have now opened our chat lines. Our chat lines are always open. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments about this treatment or any treatment, uh, please direct them to Kenji, and I'm sure he'll be happy to answer them. Uh, we have about double the number of viewers that we did when we started. So if you're just joining us now, hello, welcome, and thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to help us grow this channel and reach more people. So we have this case is a focus on is a three things. Very important thing is a three. The one is attachment control. So the why we can we we have to need place on the attachment. The attachment purpose is a void for the unfitting and a more better tooth control and something right. So the more better tooth control. So the specialty expansion case is. A, and fitting is better, and uh, more precisely tooth control. Some of the time is uh, just how how I say more much better gripping this. Then so we can control only this, not not only tipping tooth movement, expansion, then bodily movement. If without any attachment, maybe up uprighting is good, but uh, this is tipping. Okay. I see. All right. Well, we have our first question today, okay. Kenji. Our first question is from Kai Willow. Hello, Dr. Kai. Welcome back. Dr. Kai, hello. Dr. Kai says, do we need to IPR at the incisors? Yes. The 
all all the time. So the doctor Kai, thank you. So the, I all the time my planning says that anytime if I do IPR is a finishing before the finishing, and if needed for the, I do IPR is a premolars and uh, between molar and the premolars, because if anterior teeth is very small size teeth, is not for the effective. It's so not good for the how I say gain for the space. Okay more safety and more <coughs> um, good for the space gain is a premolar between premolar and the molar side and the more good for the space making is expansion it's more more big create a space okay thank you thank you very much as always for your wonderful questions kai and a good answer from Kenji. Next, uh, we have a question from Dr. Subod. Hello, Dr. Subod. Dr. Subod, hello. Dr. Subod says, what do you think about the stability of this case? The lower intercanine width seems to be expanded well above one millimeter in this case. So what do you think about stability? Stability means is a long-term stability, is a retention phase, is a already this patient is a 10 years before. This is a very long, oh. long time ago case is a good now he is a 35 years old stay good no problem because we take a combium CT so the many of the doctor is talking about for the K9 to K9 expansion is a too very difficult and dangerous at that time is a before not take combium CT generation now we can take a combium CT we understood for the bone width and the root position is a create a space for the motor premolar canine the bone is a creating 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 then around the canine area is a cover to the root if canine expansion fast maybe so your question is the same is a not good for the cover to the root without any bone but so we started for the second motor fast create a bone with then going to canine is already covered to the wide range for the buccal area. That is very important thing. Thank you. And how, how long have you been using CTs in your treatments? You said this was 10 years ago, right? Yeah, 10 years ago at the end of the treatment and the two years retention and take a combi CT. That's amazing. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Subod. And thank you, as always, Subod. thank you very much, Kenji. Uh, next is a question from Jing Ying. Welcome back, Jing Ying. Hello. Hello, Jing Jing. Says to us, hello, Dr. Kenji and Robert. From the CT scan just now, the root of the molar teeth looks quite near the cortical bone. Just wondering, how do we actually check and predict how much expansion it can go mm. when the root is so close to the cortical bone? Yeah, it's a cortical bone is uh, all the time is very close to the root, yes. But uh, only hitting a cortical bone is on the root is cannot for the pushing like this. But uh, this tooth movement is no problem, okay? So the, my, my opinion is hit the root cortical bone cannot for the intrusion. But uh, like this tooth movement or like initially like this, Uprighting is no problem. So the, uh, as you can see, this patient is uh, here to safety zone, no problem, uh, just uprighting. Then if you want to more expansion, this is a tipping zone, how many meter expansion? This is a really, really expansion area. Okay, uprighting, then really expansion area. This patient is uh, just one millimeter, 1.5 millimeter, totally 2.5. But uh, uprighting, really 2.5. Interesting. Okay, so the, the specific type of movement that you were doing, uh, it doesn't matter how close the molar root was to the cortical bone. Very interesting. Thank you. Okay, um, next question from Dr. Maple. Hello again, Dr. Maple. Welcome Maple. back. Hello. Uh, if you need expansion and distalization which one do you do first yeah, both. <laughs> both both at the same time yes you do at the same time expansion okay not only expansion expansion and distalization 
at the same time. Wow, okay. <laughs> Not like this. Exciting. Not like this. Right. Diagonal, I see. Okay, interesting. Well, that's uh, the miracle of digital orthodontics. You can plan these complex movements, and movements that are impossible with wire braces are possible yes. with aligners. So, you, robot is, yes. For the, if for the wire braces is an expansion, then pushing the digitalization, right? But the uh, aligners and the digital orthodontic is a uh, want to move here to here, here to here. Okay, not like this. Dun, dun, no. Dun. That's right. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Yeah. And we can do these straight lines with mm -hmm. uh, aligner orthodontics. Okay, well, thank you as always for your wonderful questions, Jing Ying. And it's great, it's great to have you back. Okay, uh, uh, I'm sorry, that was, that was Maple. Apologize, Maple. Dr. Thank Maple. You. Okay, uh, next we have Dr. Gustavo. Hello, Gustavo. Dr. Gustavo. Hello. Excellent, Dr. Kenji. Uh, do you like to use el elastics to help the upper arch expansion and correct a crossbite? Yes. So the, if if this situation crossbite, sometimes sometimes I use for the uh, crisscross elastic. So the put on the elastic is a uh, upper inside palatal area. Put on the bottom here, then overlap to the Mandible is a bookery using crisscross elastic, yes. If for the, this patient is a situation crossbite, but uh, this patient is no crossbite and not severe crossbite, this patient no need it. Only aligner is good for the uprighting because the aligner is covered to the occlusal aspect, easy to control. If without overlap uh, occlusal aspect, the braces, wrinkle braces, very difficult to contact. Right, but the aligner is covered to this, already create a space, easy to expansion uprighting. That is one of the very good benefit for the aligner orthodontic treatment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Gustavo. Okay, next we have uh, another returning visitor, Dr. Shami. Hello, Dr. Shami. Shami, hello. Hello, hello. It says, hello, Dr. Kenji and Robert. Uh, Greetings, and on selective expansion from the molar area first, premolar and then interiors, is there an increase in the number of aligners? Yes, some of the time increase of the aligner, but uh, this patient is a uh, five days aligner change, five days, using acceleration device. So if using acceleration device is a change for the five days, but now so the seven days aligner change, no problem, around 80, 80 to 85 aligners totally. Okay. And another question is expansion. Primora and is this increase? Or, ah, okay. Is yeah, that? that's all. Yes. Uh, thank you very much as always for your question. Shami. Thank you, Shami. Thank you. Uh, next, Dr. Majid comes back and says, hello, Dr. KJ Robert. Hello, Dr. Majid. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, as always, for being such a warm guest. He says hello every time he comes, and we love it. <laughs> okay, uh, we have another question from Dr. Kai Wolo. Uh, hello again, Dr. Kai. Says, uh, do you prefer to do pre-molar molar IPR before scanning or during treatment? Uh, during treatment, it's better, because a uh, mm. very important thing is uh, we have to think about the shape of the clown. If normally malo occlusion patient is a not good situation initial time, okay, so the alignment alignment is better than IPR is more good result, so end of the situation, and uh, finally is very important thing the contact point is a shape. If not a good contact point, I don't like it for the before not to go to during and the right position then I do IPR. Alignment, then IPR. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Kai, for another wonderful question. Thank you very much. Okay, next uh, we have uh, a question from Dr. Kunika. Hello, Dr. Kunika. Kunika, hello. It says, hello, Dr. Kenji and Robert. What is the maximum amount of molar expansion you suggest can be carried out with aligners? Mm, maximum. 
So the, that being is uh, only a liner is a prevent so the uh, maxillary maxillary expander, right? So the right, maybe right, exactly yeah. just the liners, yep. Mm -hmm. So the normally so the I do is uh, over two thousand two hundred cases nowadays, but uh, only two case MSE maxillary expand uh, maxillary expanders. So another case is only a line is possible. But if you checking which is more better way, some of the time air airway create airway is better. At this time MS is good for the result. But uh, normally I think is a take a searching the arch length discrepancy, how millimeter is good. But uh, if only a liner is a two or three is a very easy to expand the both both of the side two two is four three three is a six millimeter expansion is a normally for my approaching yes okay great so four to six maximum but again it, it depends on a lot of different things depends on the bone condition depends on the, the physical makeup of the patient but yeah maximum four to six okay thank you very much dr kunika thank you for joining thank us you, kunika. Okay, next uh, we have a uh, returning guest, a wonderful VIP, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Liu Yi. Welcome back. Yi. <laughs> Says, many orthodontists believe that the molar and expansion of Invisalign is not easy to realize, not easy to do. So we need to do some overcorrection. What do you think about this, Kenji? Yeah, so the, uh, I do overcorrection is uh, only midline correct and the only intrusion time another thing i don't need any over correction so the your question is very nice thanks a lot for the now so that i do additional liner for the over correction midline correct intrusion anterior teeth only but uh, 10 years before i all the time additional over correction too much expansion uh, too much for the torque control because I don't believe my clean check at this time. But now I trust, I believe my clean check, then I do right position, no need any. But if you want to more, please add for your clean check. This is no problem. If you want more over correction, if you don't want, no need it. It depends on your approaching. But now still continue, I do additional over correction is uh, only two type midline correct and intelligent type. Thank you. Shay Shay. Thank you. Thank you very much, as always, uh, for coming out and joining us and having such wonderful questions. Thank you very much. Okay, next, uh, we have another returning guest, Dr. Daval Fadia. Hello, Dr. Daval. Daval, hello. Hello, hello. It says, hi, Kenji and Robert. Amazing case. What kind of precautions to be taken or are there any reciprocal tooth movement to be planned for in the clin check with molar expansion so thank you the five so the very important thing is uh, so the, my planning all the time all the time my planning is a uh, three big thing initially first one is a joint last time i told you for well, the joint is much for the co or cr point and think about disc. Second one is a tooth mobility, anatomical data, biomechanics. The learn from Dr. Professor Lavinanda because the tooth movement is everything is going to the biomechanics. So at, at this time, we check searching to anatomical data all the time. If specialty motor control, check for the anatomical data, Combing CT is a help for your clinical time. If without any comb beam CT, I, I don't do like this. Maybe molar side is fixed. Don't move anymore, only until that alignment. So 10 years ago, I do like this. But now, if I want to more molar control, expansion, distalization, intrusion, at this time I take a comb beam CT, I check for the anatomical data, root position, then I do more specialty molar control, okay? Thank you very much. 
Okay, um, and we have a comment from Dr. Firas. I'm sorry, Dr. Firas, that we didn't see this before. First of all, hello, Dr. Firas. Hello, Firas. Thank you. Uh, Fir Firas says that there today there's a problem with the video, that there's a long period of lag between the photos and the voice. Oh. Is that the case? My voice? Thank you very much. Uh, there is a small delay. Yes, there is a small delay between the two. It's not a very large delay. Um, but th there is one. Um, we apologize if this technical issue oh. made today's presentation more difficult to watch. Not good for the quality one. It, it's, it's not bad. Is that the case? My voice? My voice and my face? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it comes in and out. No, th there was, there was, at certain points, there is a vocal delay. Your voice is delayed. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if it's a connection problem or what, but thank you for staying with us, Firas. We really appreciate that you were uh, able to tolerate um, this small little technical hiccup and enjoy the presentation. Okay, um, let's move on to our next question. We have uh, Dr. Majid actually has a question. Hello again, Majid. Hello, Majid. So Dr. Majid says, are you satisfied with the dental expansion? generally with aligners, or do you use some palatal expanders with screws sometimes? Mm -hmm. So the Dr. Majid, what I told you, uh, I talked to you last two questions. So the normally I think about for the only aligners, because uh, many of the case I treated for the aligner orthodontic only. But if using, so the uh, more easy to use for the some uh, palatal expander because they're very fast. Normally two weeks and three weeks is expansion already, right? If you want to expansion, please use it. No problem. But the, today my one, my one is only how I say for example, for years. So the aligner, only aligner is possible that have a potential expanding is a more predictably. Okay, if you collaborate for the palatal expander, please use it. Then after that, it's more simply, more faster. It's a better treatment. Yeah, and, and again, it, it all depends on what the patient wants as well. Mm -hmm. This patient was a non-extraction patient. Please do not remove my teeth, do not remove my teeth. So having an appliance installed might have been a difficult sell for him as well, right? So um, very nice question. Thank you very much, Dr. Majid. Thank you. Okay, next, we have another question from Dr. Shami. Hello again, Dr. Shami. Shami, hello. Dr. Shami says, thank you, Dr. Kenji. Very nice results. Hyrax RME versus aligners. Which mm -hmm. one is better in your view? <laughs> so the many of the doctor is a question point is this. So that my so the, my answer is some of the time is uh, airway is very narrow patient and uh, just a little bit how I say uh, up near patient uh, if so sleeping time is a very, very hard time if asking to the question if something like the patient just a little bit the up near case and airway is not good at this time Hilux is better because the Hilux is easy to expand the create for the airway patient is more comfortable for the sleeping time but if no only choose problem patient is that we can do a liner it depends on the patient it depends on the situation and it depends on the Europe approaching if easy to expansion and many of the patient already done for the expansion treatment first then to the aligner or expansion treatment first then to the braces and the patient already knows so that you are approaching so which is better way so the more easy so because uh, many of the doctors something like using expander hilux first so many of the patient for your clinic already know you are approaching please place a hilux at this time is a easy way so they're using hilux first then aligner but uh, only one thing Carrier motion and hilux is an uh, expansion and distalization, but uh, after alignment, just a little bit hard. I don't like it. Only aligners, it goes straight. Not like this. Aligner is controlled, only go direct straight way. I like it. 
because of precisely to the movement, precisely control, high lux, expansion, then alignment, right? This like motion appliance, motion at the, like this, then alignment. Some of them like after motion, after high lux, very tough time. I don't like for the tough time. Simply is best. So now, so the, which is more simply for your patient approaching for your approaching, then you choose it. Okay. Great. Yeah, your your answer kind of connects to your answer um, with Dr. Kunika as well. Mm -hmm. When you do um, expansion uh, and uh, I'm sorry, it wasn't Dr. Kunika. Who was it? Um, which do you do first, distalization or expansion, from Dr. Maple? Mm -hmm. And you said yes, both at the same time, right? Uh, the simplest, the simplest motion is the best motion, right? Absolutely. Okay, uh, and uh, we have another returning visitor with another question. Okay. Uh, Dr. Constantinos. Hello, Dr. Constantinos. Constantinos. Hello, hello. It says, hello, Dr. Ojima and Robert. What is the final position of the crown as degrees in the posterior teeth, the coronal torque, that you ask the CAD designers to do? And did you use a buccal root torque information during expansion? So all the time checking which the goal decision make is very important thing. Decision make is very important thing. So the I all the time checking for the anatomical data then so the how degree is better to alignment because uh, we have many of the uh, marrow occlusion patients we have to create a space right uprighting if three degree how millimeter create a space uprighting four degree how millimeter create a space then so that we have to alignment t's at this time how millimeter arch length discrepancy right then we for searching how millimeter discrepancy created. Then uprighting, only uprighting is a no need space. Of course, at this time, distalization, they create a space. Uprighting, already too much ex, too much space, retraction anterior teeth or majorization molars. So that we have to all the time is a searching how millimeter is good and half degree uprighting is good based on space based on anatomical data based on the facial for the position then planning okay wonderful thank you very much and thank you for uh your question dr constantinos don't thank worry you. about question length long questions are always welcome thank you very much thank you uh we have another returning guest, Dr. David Tan. Hello, Dr. David. Hello, David. So Dr. David says, thank you, Dr. Kenji and Robert. Is buccal root torque and extrusion built in uh, required to ensure proper expansion? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So very important thing is a place on the attachment we can do the buccal so root torque. If without for any attachment, so the buccal root torque is something like very difficult because the aligner is not grip perfectly. Aligner gripping perfectly, you can do everything, but the aligner gripping is just loose, cannot for the control for the buccal torque, root torque. So if you want to buccal torque, in the I recommendation definitely is a add, add for the attachment. But so not only so the both of the side, only lateral size is a completely good. So some of the doctor asking to me so at this time we have to need additional attachment, labial and the ringer, both of the side. But no need it, so too much. Only labial size place on the attachment, the good control. But the timing is very important thing. Initial time, during, until safety zone, no need any attachment. Because at this time, upper teeth is here. Okay? Initially, place on the, any attachment here. Initially, hit for the upper teeth. Okay? This is not a good occlusion, not comfortable for the patient. Initially, no need any attachment. Simply uprighting. After that, attachment, place on the attachment, 
then expunge. The timing is very important. See, initially, initially, until safety zone, no needed place on any attachment. For my opinion. Thank you very much for your opinion, Dr. Kenji, and thank you very much for your wonderful question. As always, Dr. David, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. And ladies and gentlemen, we have time for one last question. Mm -hmm. Let's take one from Dr. Vishal. Hello again, Dr. Vishal. Welcome Hello, back. Vishal. Dr. Vishal asks wonderful questions every time. Let's see what question he has for us today. Thank you so much, Kenji and Robert. Great treatment. My question is, if the patient had consented to premolar extraction or wisdom tooth extraction, would you have preferred this? Uh, if for the accept of the very nice question, Bishar, for the if patient accept wisdom tooth extraction and accept for the premolar extraction, something like just a little bit difficult approaching because uh, if premolar extraction is mo more treatment time is very short, more faster because I focus on anterior region space closing, but uh, this patient is a mainly cheap complaint is a no extraction approaching. Something like this is a very, how I say, try case, okay? So the normally, so the, if accept premolar extraction and accept for the wisdom tooth, maybe I think the different planning. Very nice question. This is a challenging for case, sure. please. Exactly. This is, um, I know that, Kenji, you focus on uh, patient-centered treatments. You want the patient's wishes mm -hmm. to come first. With, with aligners, compliance is a very important part mm -hmm. of successful treatment. And if a patient thinks that they are in control of the treatment plan, then they will be more motivated uh, to continue with their treatment. So as much as you probably thought, oh, it would be faster with uh, extraction, in this case, you have to respect the patient's wishes, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, as always, for coming out and joining us on this May evening. It was a fantastic session. You guys had so many wonderful questions, um, and I'm glad that we could cover all of them. Mm -hmm. We will be back again on Saturday night, as usual. Uh, Saturday night, our time. Uh, mm -hmm. 1.30 Central European time, your time, uh, for another um, exciting, exciting session. There'll be more information yeah. about the session mm -hmm. available. Uh, we will give uh, an advertisement as, usable, uh, mm -hmm. as usual, which you can catch on Kenji's YouTube channel if you hit subscribe. You can also catch it on his Instagram. Uh, if you have not followed Dr. Kenji Ojima on Instagram, please do that as well. He has lots and lots of interesting content there. Kenji, would you like to say anything to our guests before we leave? Yes, thanks a, thanks a lot for the watching for the all colleague and the friend, and thanks a lot, Robert. And uh, today is I want to say for the started to the normal life to the United States today. Mm -hmm. And uh, some places, yeah. Yes, <laughs> and uh, Europe for the Germany and the French, and the started for mm -hmm. the normal normal life is uh, right. out so the reject for the lockdown, right? Right, we're, we're, we're slowly coming out of lockdown in many places, yes, good. yes This indeed. is the good, good news for, for us, right? So please, for sure. Yes, please take a wonderful time and start it for the uh, after, after coronavirus uh, time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I want to see uh, next our international YouTube live on Saturday. Thanks, uh, thanks okay. a lot. Thanks a lot, everyone. We'll see you on Saturday. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks, you robot. Thank you, Kenji.